Hi, my name is Gustavo Risa, and in the today video, we are going to compare the difference between AI trend modeling and automated trend modeling. What is the difference between using one compared to the other one? Secondly, if you don't know how to create your own GTP or customize your own GTP, you can see the video in this channel. about how to create a SAS S A S T tool in 11 minutes. And third one, what is a trend modeling? A trend modeling is uh diagram documentation we made to collect uh, the components <laughs> and we give a description about the components in this table. You had controls that mean a um, mechanics you create for for example in a WAF you can create a rule set in the implementation of TLS that is techniques we use in two prevent vulnerabilities we also using the word or component compliance compliance are the standard or the documentation you need to collect for example to customize your GTP you can use in documentation about that and name you can see in the screen. You also have the data flow between that is the data travel between assets and the assets are system services data, for example, API. The tracks are ways you can catalog it, catalog the vulnerabilities per se. You have the risk associated to every threat. The mitigations way, the validation to control um, the successful implementation or the remediations and the outputs. Why you need to do threat modeling? Because give to the developers, department, team league, QA, and another departments inside other organizations, the vision about security when you develop or you working with technologies in the IT department. And with that, the people can read and understand better what is the effort security is doing. In my personal opinion, I don't like using automated trend modeling since AI can do that for us because different things we are going to see things sorry we are going to see during this video and and nothing we are going to start with with this the first thing I am I did for this video was using do.io. That is a diagram technology. In reality, it's a app. You can create diagrams. And the diagrams I sh choose for this video, or chosen for this video was the one related to what is the procedure when a department or IT try to release in production using a repository, the process of merge, the pull request, the process of book, pull. With this, we can emulate how secure is your continuing integration process and continue delivery process. What is the reason of that is for see what is the potential of AI doing this. And also it's a very good practice doing or do um, trend modeling over your pylon procedure or configuration. Or the box pylon, no pylon, the regular pylon, no. uh, the box IT pylon. Well, when compare AI versus automated trend modeling tools, you can see, for example, 
eh, de automate track modeling is limited because they need you get information you need to fill different form or create diagrams inside your, uh, the applications instead AI can use an image you can do in paper or you can use in a apps, uh, a file, information, and put there directly or log back in the GTP, and he is going to generate a type modeling. Yeah, and you avoid the manual entry. And also, the automated trend modeling is using a database, the database unit. To know only the companies can update the database. Instead, AI AI learning back Excel. The example I show you before is the one I took from the OEIO, but I took the XML file and I pass that file to the GTP. The GTP I am using right now is ATAS. It's the one you can see in another videos. It's the one I tune in with different configurations. Well, like you can see, he is trying to understand the file or the information I passed it before. And he collect the information, they generate and he tell me, okay, I am ready. I am already understand what is the thing here. I am going to generate first the data flows. After that, the state model, the risk matrix, the security controls based in this. This is a diagram about pull requests using repositories. That means that is a IT pipeline. Diagram. And he tell me, okay, this information you already passed me is about uh, how the data flow related to this diagram is the branch pass to the developer or uh, the develop, and you hack the release. You hack the branch, you pass that at the, at the develop environment, after that the release, after that the main, after that the production deployment. Merge the request and you have the QA test and you have the staging. That means in the release for you pass that to QA. Okay, after that it lists the components and telling me okay the data flow flow is merge, pull, push, like push, like every repository you can find in the market like GitHub, GitLab. And he tell me, okay, this is an interaction for a continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline. And this suppose you can do manual or automatic deployments. He created the straight table to tell me, okay, the developer can be or hack a possible Ball, vulnerability related to spoofing, repudiation, based in the unauthenticated commits or missing audit trial. After that, you have the elevation of privilege for the tampering, excessive pipeline permissions. Step three, risk matrix. In risk matrix, he's going to give me the score of the risk based in two standards. He's going to give me the impact. The likelihood is based in what easy is to this happen and the priority to fix this vulnerabilities. Or in this case, risk. Table four controls. In controls, like I said before, 
is the technology you can apply to fix or try, try to control the vulnerabilities. And the remediation timeline is, in, is interesting table because he gave me the effort and the timeline. Final conclusions are the following ones. AI using only an image or information or one file, no matter the format is JSON or SML file, he can generate a complete train modeling based in that information. After that, I made the question again and asked it directly, what is better? And give me the reasons why. Traditional, automatic, track modeling tools or using AI track modeling. And like we see before, important difference are automated track modeling using a database. That means the company is the only one can update that in case you are not using an open source. The second one is use of natural languages. That means is no support the fact to you talking with the with it like with the with ATAS or this AI in specific because you only book comments and you can have the feedback and also or input the comments and you are going to receive the feedback and you also have the human like reasoning that is something the AI is improved compared to the traditional tools and the warning is also impressive because you don't need tuning too much the AI you only need to put the documentation so the compliance that means you are going to internet you collect the PDFs, you collect the examples, and you can tune in. It's more easy compared to, you know, who they a complete database. And in this case, in the GTP market. An example between the difference is we only pass in the file information and it generate that. He understand the documentation I pass it is public facing the API with user data in a point they use API with user data in another diagram I already passed it before and the final question was when to use what that means if you are using a small projects or you are audit small projects. It's whether you're using automated trend modeling, yeah. If you're using leader or regular industry, probably you need to use automated trend modeling. But for the rest scenarios, for example, create a continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline, uh, getting a better trend modeling or evolving trend models. Also, when the people don't know don't know about programming languages uh, terminologies and it it's better using ai because you can ask him questions directly and he is going to respond to you the final verdict is better using ai automated trend modeling yes because it's more cheaper it's only 20 bucks configure your own gtp here compared to 200k 100k compared to automatic trend modeling tools. If you have both, you can use in both, but in case you need to choose one, it's better using AI to this purpose. Thank you for your time.